parents and guidance rushed to start standard international school to pick their awards following invasion of school by machete walden persons believed to be blood relations or school's night security by the bear kwame who has been declared missing since monday maze of persons from his native chere formed a search party and stormed the school tuesday morning thereby bringing fear and panic among the teachers and their we pupils trying to, the, to, to mobilize certain things and the teachers were also helping in their own way but when the relatives came they said they should not be school they went into the classes some of them holding classes chasing the children away we said they should exercise places so that we could call the parents because some of them the parents keep do yes. bring them so if you take them like this or you chase them away like this it, will, it is going to be unhealthy because some will not be able to get to their destinations but it's like the young guys they were not trying to listen to us one of the leaders of the search party sufian idris explained that the invasion is neither to harm the teachers nor the pupils though they are of the belief that it is inhuman and immoral for them to continue with school curricular activities when one of their own was missing. Saying that the school should close down, but we are thinking that the trauma that is associated with the whole issue, but we are all children, we are all fathers and mothers here, so we are thinking that the trauma that they are going through is not better. 60 year old Badibe Kwame failed to return home after close of work on Monday. The victim, according to school authorities, visualized on tables kept at the back of the stairs of the two-story uncompleted structure. There was no sign of him at the corner on Monday morning, but blood stains were dotted all over the school's compound. He sleeps here. According to information I have gathered at the corner there. So that is where the case started and they brought him here. Finally, uh, finally do away with him and then. There was some blood on this news. But it's like because of the rainfall, this is a sea private security man alleged to have been killed in five months for alleged ritual purposes. Three others for the past two months have also been declared missing by the police. The irony of it is that all took place in the Paguru enclave. Inform the traditional authorities, we've gone on to inform uh, Ghana Police Service, and uh, in fact, we are only hoping that. Uh, the due or the necessary procedures will be followed in getting us uh, our uncle, whether life or otherwise. Well, as of now, we can't even confirm whether he's still dead or he's still alive. So our next action is that we are just hoping and looking on the Ghana Police Service to help us do the need for them. Landlords of the area are deeply worried about the continuous missing and killing of private security men in their enclave. They are urging the security forces, especially the police, to do the needful and bring the perpetrators to book. Meanwhile, the upper Oswegian police says they have started investigations on the issue. Reporting for the news, Rafik Salam. Wa.